Hello everybody. Well, I hope I got my camera set right. I've been working on it, <laughs> trying to get it right. And um, I had a request to show some of my artwork. And I'm more than happy to do that. So, let me begin. Okay? Now, some of this was started with kitchen objects. Now, I did another video and laid out some of the objects that you can use in the kitchen because you can pick up anything in the kitchen and make a, a picture out of it, uh, painting. You know, once your brush touches that canvas, you're an artist. So let your mind run free and you'll be surprised what comes out, okay? <laughs> you're smarter than you think, <laughs> okay? All right, here we go and I will start with this one. Now, I've got my easel up here, but I don't know if I've got the camera set right. So, it may take me just a little bit, so just hang on. And this one is called Peaceful Waterfalls. Now, this was done in oils. Let me see if I can get it focused right. Okay, let's turn this way. Bad. Okay, and that was done in oils. But the reason that I quit oils was because of the odorless paint thinner. Uh, with three little four-leggers and four li or two little four-leggers, kitty cats, and three uh, doggies, I was so scared. You know, because you got to have a bucket to rinse your brushes out in. And, of course, they have a little screen you scrape your brush on, and then you, you know, you wash your brush out. Um, but um, I just got to thinking if they get to playing and they get to romping and stomping and they tip that bucket over, I'm going to have a big problem. Because the first thing an animal will do is stick their nose in whatever you dropped on the floor. And I'm going, I just can't take the chance. I, I can't do that. So that's why I went to acrylics, yes. And I feel safer, it takes a lot longer to finish a painting if you're really gonna get into one. And which once you start, you'll find yourself getting into one and you just don't wanna quit. And that's true, that's true, mark my words. All right, where's that one? I don't have all of my artwork, you would have to, uh, uh, contact my daughter and grandchildren in Indiana. They got most of them. <laughs> but I just do this as a hobby. I don't sell them, you know, never have. I Nobody seems to be interested in buying them, so that's why. <laughs> it's just a hobby, yes. And let's see. Now you can turn a painting any way you want to turn one, you know. So this is just a small canvas, and that is acrylics. Just a minute. And let me lift this up a little bit. Now, if you don't like to turn it that way, if you were to hang it, then you can turn it that way. Well, hang on with me with this camera. Okay, that could have went over a little bit more, I think, this way. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty, I put the camera down, hang in there with me. You know how it goes. And here's another one. And this one is called uh, if I could read my own writing, I could tell you. Something waves, personal waves by me. And I've signed it and everything. It's a 14 by 18 inch canvas. They're nice to work on if you just want a, a medium sized canvas. Let's see what that one does there. Get the camera. There you go. It's just just waves and some bushes on the side. Yeah. 
Now remember, I'm not a, I'm not a professional. I just do what comes to mind. Okay. Take that one down. Oh. And this one before that one that I showed you, I call hit and miss. Yeah, hit and miss. That was this one, hit and miss. Yeah, just hit and miss. Just take your brush and just make your background first. Then take whatever paints, colors that you like. I love bright colors. Yes, I'm into um, really bright colors. Almost psychedelic colors like. I guess that's what I call them. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's this one up. Stack this one up. This one, oh, we've already done that one, haven't we? We've done that one. I'm going backwards here. Hang on. I'll be there in a minute. Put that one there. i got to be careful because these canvases do get heavy, and I've just got them propped up on a wastebasket here, which is a wicker, but it's not real heavy. Now, let's see. This one here. And I call this, uh, oh, I guess I showed that one. I showed you this one, correct? Yes, I showed you that one. Okay. All right. And this one, I didn't write on. There's nowhere to write on the uh, ones that have a border. You can tape it. But this is uh, just a bunch of flowers. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just a bunch of flowers. Not perfect, but I just, I just do what I do. Okay, <laughs> there's that one. Now this one here. Let's see, is this one? No. Well, this might be the one. I have one. Yes, this is the one. Oh, I can get it turned around. This is a big canvas. Yeah, this is an 18 by 24. I love working on them, but these are the ones that take take time, take a lot of time. And I named this one Waterfalls. Just plain and simple waterfalls. Yeah, just plain and simple. But there is a secret in the painting. Can you spot the secret? And I did not know it was there. I did not paint it in there. No, I did not. But do you see the secret? And that was before I got my first one. Well, not my first one. I've had hundreds of uh, kitty cats. But what do you see? Do you see what I see? And I thought, oh my God, how did that get in there? And then about a month or two later, I ended up with Ringo Starr. Yes. Right there. I was shocked. And don't ask me, I, I did not do that. I did not paint that in there. No, I did not. All I did was the trees and the waterfall. That's all I did. And the rocks and everything. And when I got done with it and I had sprayed it, coated it with protective coating, that's what I spotted. Well, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, it's hard for me to see. This canvas is big. And I'm not going the right way. So. But anyway, you saw it, I hope. I don't know if I can bring it up again or not. I don't really have the right setup here, but I do the best I can. Right there it is. Yep, do you see what I see? And I did not paint that in there. Amazing. That's all I could say to myself. My gosh, amazing. Yep. 
that sure was a surprise, but I guess it was telling me what was in my future coming to the door. I don't know. And it came to my door at 1031 night, and uh, Ringo almost had his front leg taken off. He had been in a fight, evidently, or somebody had dumped him, and uh, I don't know what happened, but they brought him to me, asked me if I'd take him, and I said, oh yes, I'll take him. Here's another one with a border, and I've not named it. No. This is all done in acrylics. Yeah, this is all done in acrylics. Whoops, I'm going the wrong way again. I can get it just right. That's all done in acrylics. That's just a hobby. No professional at all. But the one that got me started, God bless his heart, and God rest his soul forever, but he's painting angels in heaven now. And you know who I mean, Bob Ross. I never missed his shows, never. And oh, was I heart sick when he passed away. So young, so talented. If only I could have painted like he did, but I couldn't. No, he could do everything. Yeah, but he said, once your brush touches that canvas, you're an artist, and you all can do this. Just do it for pleasure. Just do it for relaxation. Do it for your grandchildren or something. They will love it. Like I said, I have plenty more, but my daughter's got them. Yeah, my oldest daughter. And my oldest daughter's painting started out with a saucer. I'll explain. There we go. I um, I took a saucer and I just made a circle. Yeah. In fact, uh, I think I painted the background just, I think it was pure white. And uh, I just took a saucer and turned it upside down. And I took a, a real light lead pencil and just drew a circle so I could get, you know, the circumference around and I thought, now what can I do with that circle? And before I knew it, I drew an air balloon in the sky and she just fell in love with it. And she's got it. Yeah, she's got it. Okay, well, that is my paintings. And I'm gonna get this downloaded now, hopefully to YouTube. And um, I'm gonna say, um, I will see you later. And, um, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Do something nice for somebody. Don't matter if it's just a phone call or you go take them something baked. You know, I got bananas in my freezer. I need to make a good banana cake. Yes, I do, a banana a bread loaf. And um, I've got people I can take it to. And uh, it makes you feel good in here. That's what Bob said. Put on canvas what makes you feel good in here, in your heart. And he was right. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. See you later.